Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to bedazzle -fy your keys. And yes, I did just say bedazzle -fy. I probably won't say it again. Here's a little sneak peek of what I mean, and I'll show them up close during the video, of course, but they would be great to add to jewelry pendants. Look at that, a little heart key necklace. That is totally me. Or you can just use it to put on your keychain to either identify your keys or just make them look nice. To make a basic glitter key, you want to use Mod Podge some loose glitter, and a paintbrush. Keep in mind, I'm using old keys that don't open anything. Only add decoration to the top part so it doesn't interfere with the actual key part of the key. Before you decorate your keys, it's a good idea to clean them off. You can use some sort of alcohol or a baby wipe. It will make it easier for your glue and glitter to stick to the surface of your key. You're going to brush on some Mod Podge with an older brush or one that you don't really care about and just put it anywhere on the key that you want the glitter to be. Then choose your color or colors of glitter and you're going to sprinkle this on while the glue is still wet. Let it dry for a little bit and then you can tap off the excess glitter. At this point you want it to dry completely and then you can add another layer of Mod Podge and you can even add more glitter to that. And of course you could dump the glitter from the paper towel onto the key but I'm just doing this the hard way because I don't want to change my camera angle or do anything like that. The second layer of glitter is optional but I like to do it. And again you would shake off the excess, wait for the glitter to dry and you can add another coat of Mod Podge just to keep the glitter sealed in. Once that's all dry, you can try doing the edges and the back as well. To make a nail polish key, all you do is get whatever color of nail polish you want, paint a thin, even coat onto the key. You want to make sure that dries completely before you add another coat or anything else to it. I'm still deciding how I want to decorate mine, either leopard print or zebra, possibly. Finally, I have the keys where I just glued an accent onto them. To the middle key and the heart key on this side, I did add some glitter nail polish to the edge of the key and around the base here. To get a cool key like this, you need some type of cabochon, rhinestone, button, anything of that sort, and you're going to glue it on with E6000 glue. That ensures that it will stay on. This is a fuzzy heart button. It's the best ever. A key like this would be especially great to add to a necklace as a pendant. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you end up decorating your keys, then go ahead and post a picture and send it to me on my Facebook fan page, my Instagram, or Twitter. All of those links are in the down bar. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and you guys have a great rest of the day. I will see you soon. Bye!